Okay, here's how to play Decades by Joy Division. Uh, first, pull up this chord chart, and what you want to know, you need to know these chords. You need to know D minor, so 5, 7, 7, 6. We don't need the top note, but... I don't actually need this, but just... to know C over E. So here's a C major bar chord. We're going to put E in the bass. So 7, 5, 5, 5. It's going to be changing a lot from those chords. You're going to need to know uh, B minor. Seven, nine, nine, seven. And then a B, B flat major, six, eight, eight, seven. And then all you do is like when you start the song out, it was kind of like this, just that percussive sound for a while, so you can just imitate on your guitar. the bass comes in it goes so I like to go so you go five five seven five and then it's gonna go five seven seven and then you're gonna hear the song start and it's just gonna be Just strum either these two, like a power chord, or you can even hit this. And you switch to this. There's like one little beat right before you would imagine you should switch, so you just gotta listen and play along. Like, it kind of has a little bit of an off switch like it doesn't go directly on the beat it's just a tiny bit after it i think so or you can just hit this chord the whole time like the sound is cool though so do this for a while d minor to c over e and then you can imitate the bass switch chords you can go from seven to eight or you can do this at the end of the chord like the guy in the tab has that idea and that note is played but to me it just jumps out of nowhere so I don't like it so I just do this so you could go I think if you're strumming the whole chords it would sound okay I just like to go. After that, it's kind of more ambient thing, but it's still doing the same chords. You can just strum them once. Or you can do like, or maybe some picking. Just see, have some texture in there. And it starts to go into the next part, but you need the, the rest of the chords. He does this twice, and then the next time it is. You just gotta listen to it. And C over E. And that's gonna go to. And it goes to the B minor. Make sure you only hit strum up to here, though. I just hit this note, that doesn't sound right. You only want to strum up to there. B flat major. So D 
minor. If you want the C in the bass, you could do it like this. Or you could just go to a C bar chord, which is A, 10, 10, 9. This also sounds good in B minor. Also, sound going to do D minor up here. So D minor is 10, 12, 12, 10. A little hollow sounding. C major. B minor. And I was experimenting. Also, it sounds kind of cool to do like. the five and then either the three or the flat three so I'm doing it kind of like this but I don't have to bar so first finger pinky middle finger this is minor I'm just going C major when I was doing it this way is a diminished chord sounds really good here and I was starting to think maybe a diminished chord would sound better so I tried strumming it and the full on diminished chord sounded kind of stupid but this way a diminished chord sounds good so what you can do is C major instead of B minor you can do B diminished this is 7th fret 7, 8 Seven. And B major. So I can really decide which one I like more. Either one would kind of work if you're doing it that way. The diminished just is a little creepier sounding, but then, oops, doing B minor to B major is pretty creepy sounding too. And then you just end up going back to this. And you just repeat the whole thing. So that's it. If anyone has any questions about it, let me know. Bye.